Hi, Dr. McKinnon here. Um, I am going to show you in this quick video how to georeference a scanned paper map or some other uh, digital image file um, in Arc Pro so that later you could um, create digital layers, do some digitizing of, of the features in that paper map. So georeferencing means putting it on, uh, giving it a reference, set of reference points in ArcGIS at a location on the uh, imagined globe, okay? So first thing we're gonna do here is we are going to go to the map tab here and go to add data because we need to add our um, map that we want to georeference into our project. Now I just downloaded this map from um, the David Rumsey map collection, historical map collection. So I'm going to look under downloads and then I'm going to try to figure out which one of these it is. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, map of Dunn County, state of Wisconsin. I'm going to go into this folder, click here click on this JPEG. Oh, no, I went too far. Now I have the three bands. You don't want the three bands. You just want the name of the image file, which in this case is a JPEG. Um, so you want that to be down here in the in the name bar and then click OK. And um, you will notice that the name appeared over here in your table of contents. Now, nothing appears to have happened on my map. If you want to know where this image currently is located in your map, you can right click on it and click zoom to layer. If you ever lose a layer, that's what you do, zoom to layer. Um, and so here we go. Um, here is Dunn County and it is um, in the middle of the ocean by West Africa. Now, do you know the reason for this? Probably not. Um, so this is the zero, zero point for latitude, longitude, the origin point for latitude, longitude. So the computer, um, when it doesn't know where to place something, might automatically place it at this um, zero, zero uh, island, essentially. Um, but so to, in order to georeference this map and get it to, to the location we want it, which is Dunn County, Wisconsin, we need to zoom to Dunn County, Wisconsin. So in the map tab, um, one of the easiest ways you, you can manually zoom that to, to where you want it, but you can also click this locate button and um, then search Dunn County and pretty soon Wisconsin will come up, USA, okay. So, oh, it zoomed me straight to the location and there's a little A there indicating that's where the Esri World Geocoder thinks Dunn County, Wisconsin is and that is totally correct. Um, so now I'm gonna close this locate tool because I don't need it anymore. And I'm gonna try to get Dunn County, Wisconsin as much as possible in my map just the way I want it. Um, and now I'm gonna go to the imagery tab. Now, um, any kind of scanned map, uh, static image is an image file. And so you go to the imagery tab and over here on the left, you go to georeference. Click on georeference, cause that's what we're doing. And um, you will open up a special georeferencing um, toolbar. Okay, so the toolbar um, over here on the left is the first set of tools we're going to use, then sort of towards the middle is the second set. Um, the review is if you have any problems with what you've done, and then uh, you'll save what you've done and finally close it. I like this toolbar. Okay, so now we are going to click here on the left hand side and um, click fit to display. 
aha, here is our Dunn County map. It has shown up um, on our display. And now it's pretty close to where we need it to be, but we can also use these tools, move, scale, and rotate if we need them to uh, try to get it a little bit closer, okay? Um, so click move and you can um, move it quite around a little bit. It kind of becomes partially transparent. Um, clearly it's not quite big enough. It's not quite as big as the actual county. Um, so I'm going to click scale um, and click and drag to make this slightly bigger. Um, then I'll move it over a little bit more. Let's see. I'm going to click the explore button for a minute to um, get back to where I was here. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to now, so say I have it pretty good the way I want it to be. So now if you want the map to, to actually fit um, very, very precisely where you think it should go, what you need to do is um, use these control points. So you can click add control points. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to sort of imagine um, stretching the uh, the imaginary scanned map that you um, have imported to fit on our um, ArcGIS globe just the way we want it to fit. Okay, so um, I'm going to click control points and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to choose a corner of the map. Um, what you want to do is be is to choose points on your map that you can definitely match up between the scanned paper map and the base map that's underneath. Okay, so um, so I'm going to pick the northwest corner here, and I'm going to click. I clicked Add Control Point. So now I'm going to click right where it should go. Let's see if I can do this. Um, this is the northwest corner of the county. I click here gives me a little red dot and a line that extends. Okay, now I'm going to turn off my scanned paper map and I'm going to say, okay, the corner of the county for me is right here. And now the computer will attempt to move that corner right to the corner of the county. I'm going to zoom out again. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom in on the southeast corner of the map. Um, click right where the southeast corner of the county is and then turn off the map and I've got to figure out where the southeast corner of the county is, which I think is right here where these roads intersect. Um, there we go. Okay, so now when we turn our map on. It should be a pretty close fit. Um, so now what you would want to do, I'm going to go to my explore tab so I can um, move things over a little bit. What you're going to want to do is add two, at least two more control points, one down here and one up here. Um, in order to complete your georeferencing. Depending on the type of georeferencing you're doing um, and you know how difficult your map is to match up, you may need more than four control points. Um, if you look here under the transformation tab, there's different forms of transformation. Um, these will give you slightly different results. And um, you can read more about them in the ArcGIS help, but, um, but you can also experiment with trying them out. Um, you can also 
look at the if you mess up and put a control point where you don't want it to be you can also click here where it says control point table and that will open up the points that you have made and you can turn them off and on again um, or you can highlight one in blue and then click the delete selected button if you get really frustrated and you're tired of uh, the version you've got you can click delete all and that will get rid of all the control points you've put in okay all right so I'm gonna pause here for a second um, all right so here are all four points in my georeferencer um, ready to go my map is pretty much where I want it to be I click on georeference and click save all right then it saves all of my points for me and I can close the georeferencing tab and now the georeferencing coordinates are saved along with this image file um, you want to save that separately and then also save your project click up here on the upper left to save your project all right so that's the basics of georeferencing for you guys I hope that helps you out okay Talk to you soon. Bye.